हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल लेट्स स्टार्ट यू कैन सी द प्रॉब्लम ऑन द स्क्रीन द डायपोल मोमेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम इज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द डायपोल मोमेंट ऑफ द गिवन सिस्टम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट This is our system. This is y-axis. This is x-axis. This is minus three q. This is plus two q, and this is q. This is l. This is also l, and this length is also l. We can draw this system like this. This three q can be written as minus two q. And plus uh, and minus q, right? And this plus q can be written as plus q, and this should be written as plus two q. Okay. So now this minus two q and plus two q, this is forming one dipole, dipole number one, and this minus q and plus q, this is forming another dipole, dipole number two, right? So first one is dipole number one and the second one is dipole number two. And what is the angle between these two dipole? This is an equilateral triangle, so the angle between the two dipole is sixty degree. So here the angle between the two dipole is sixty degree. Now what is the dipole moment? Suppose this is a dipole, this is a plus q charge and this is minus q charge and the length is L. What will be the dipole moment? The dipole moment will be sorry. This is minus q. The dipole moment will be q into l, magnitude of one charge and the distance between the two charge. This will be the dipole moment, and we have to remember the dipole moment is a vector quantity, and the direction of the dipole moment is from negative charge to positive charge. This is the direction of the dipole moment. Okay, so here for the first one, the direction of the dipole moment is. For the first one, the direction of the dipole moment is this p one from negative to positive charge, and for the second one, the direction of the dipole moment is p two from negative to positive charge. So here we can say the direction of between p one and p two is sixty degree, and we have to calculate the resultant dipole moment. So from vector addition rule, we know that resultant vector. Is equals to root over a square plus b square plus two a b cos theta. Cos theta is the angle between the vector a and b, right? If a vector is along this direction and b vector is along this direction and among them the angle is theta, then the magnitude of the resultant vector is this. So we have to calculate this dipole moment in this procedure because the di uh, the reason is the dipole moment is also a vector quantity. So we have to follow the vector addition rule. So the resultant dipole moment here is for uh, the magnitude of the first dipole moment is one charge is two q. We have to take the magnitude of the either charge of the dipole moment and the distance between them is l. So P one is two Q L, and P two charges Q, so Q and the distance is L, right? So for first one we will write this is P one two Q L whole square plus B Q L whole square plus two A is two Q L B is Q L and cos sixty degree. Cos sixty degree means half. Right, this is under the root. Okay, so two two cancel out, and uh, now we have to calculate. So I am erasing this. Sorry, I am erasing this so that we can write here. So resultant is root over. Four q square l square plus q square l square plus two q square l square. So four plus one 
is 5 is 6 plus 6 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 2 7 so root over 7 q square l square so this should be root over 7 q l this should be the answer this is the resultant dipole moment Uh, if you have some doubt, then from here you can clearly see for two vectors, if the angle between them is theta, then this is the formula of calculating the resultant vector. Dipole moment is also a vector quantity. So the angle between these two dipole moment is 60 degree. And using the same formula, we can calculate the resultant dipole moment. I hope you understand. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Uh, and you can join the telegram channel also or uh, email id is also given so you can also mail your problem thank you everyone subscribe the channel